Welcome to the Peoria County Clerk's Training Program. In this short video, I will explain how to file a statement of economic interest through the website. This website can be used by the individuals that have received the notice to file, as well as by candidates and newly appointed officials. Let's get started! New users to the website will need to create an account. This can be created in three ways. If you received an email notification, click on the registration link at the bottom of the email. This will take you directly to the Add User Account page. There you will see a field for an access code and your last name. The access code will be automatically provided when the email link is used. Enter your last name and click Submit. Create your own username and a password with at least 8 characters. Review your name and address, updating if necessary. The address must be your personal mailing address, not a business address. You can also change the email address that we will use to send notifications. It can be a personal or work email. Finally, choose if you would like emails to be your primary notification method. If no is selected, you will continue to get notices by mail as well as by email if an email is provided. If yes is selected, you will continue to receive emails and a paper statement will only be mailed shortly before the filing deadline. In 2019, state law requires that we mail a notice to all individuals. Please choose yes to email notifications to save the county unnecessary mailing costs in future years. Once the information is submitted, you will be ready to log in. Enter your username and password. Your home screen will appear, which will be the statements page for most users. If you received a paper notice to file, go to the login page and click create new user account. The access code will appear at the bottom of your letter you received in the mail. Enter it, your last name, and click Submit. Once your information has been entered and submitted, you will need to confirm your email address by opening the email that was just sent to you and clicking on the link. You are now ready to log in. If you did not receive a notice to file, and you are a new user that needs to file as a candidate or newly appointed official, go to the login page and click Create New User Account. Then click Not Sent Notice Required to File button at the bottom of the page. Once your information has been entered and submitted, you will need to confirm your email address before logging in. For all users, the email notifications sent in future years will just list your username. You will use the same password that you entered when creating your account. If you forgot your password, click the Forgot Your Password link on the login page. An auto-generated password will be emailed to you. Statements are filed through the main statements page. For those individuals in charge of submitting to us a list of names on behalf of a government entity, the government body members page will appear first and you will need to click statements in the top menu bar. Click create new statement to begin filing. If you are required to file, the governing body and your current position will be listed. Governing bodies can be removed and added by choosing the entity, position, and status. Then click add. Your mailing address will also be listed and can be updated if necessary. The form questions are next. A not applicable checkbox is listed for each question. This must be checked if you do not have any information to enter for a question. For one and two, click the answer button to have the three entry fields appear. When you have answered these two questions, click the add this answer button. The answers for the remaining questions can be entered directly into the provided fields. A verification statement appears after the questions and Agree must be checked. Finally, the reCAPTCHA security feature is used. Click the I'm not a robot checkbox and answer the security question if one appears. When you are finished, click Submit. You have now successfully entered your statement. An email will be sent to you with your complete statement and your receipt. You can also view and print the receipt from the statements page. This receipt can be used for candidate filings within the same calendar year. You can also view and print your completed statement. Clicking View will bring up the light version of the statement. Click Printable Statement to view the PDF version. You can log in to view and print these documents at any time. When filing a statement, you can also save your progress at any time by clicking on ReCAPTCHA and clicking Save for Later. The statement will be listed on the statements page as In Progress. You can return to the website and continue filing by clicking Edit. Please keep in mind that the website cannot be used when late fees are due. Also, the County Clerk's Office cannot provide legal advice on how to answer a question. Please contact an attorney for legal questions.
Other menu options are available across the top of the screen or in a menu icon when using a mobile device. Search allows you to use the same search that appears on the public website. All statements will be viewable online, including statements submitted on paper, with mailing addresses redacted. Update account information allows you to update your personal information, and you can also change your password at any time. That concludes this training program. I hope this information has been helpful. The County Clerk's Office is here to help you with the process. If you have a question, we can be contacted by email at countyclerk at peoriacounty.org or by phone at 309-672-6060.